I've got our logging application block demo solution open here that we had created in the previous module. And we're going to go ahead and create the most simple logging case just to demonstrate how that you can set up logging. So I'm going to go into our app config and I hadn't saved the changes that we had done before. I'm just going to add a basic configuration here. I'm just going to go in, add our logging settings block, and I'm not really going to change anything here. The only thing I am going to change is I'm going to change this listener because I don't want to use the event log listener. I think it's a little bit easier to look at a file. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this and I'm going to add a new listener and we're just going to add a flat file listener. And we'll just leave the defaults here, make sure we have the text formatter set up and we'll hook this up so that the general category is going to use this listener and the errors and warnings will use this listener. These other categories we don't actually have to configure to a listener. They're not required. So anything that would fall into these is not automatically going to go to our file. So we'll go ahead and save this. And then let's go ahead and instantiate our Unity container. So we'll create a new container. And then for our container, we need to do add new extension. And we'll go ahead and add our enterprise library core extension. So now we have our container set up. And what we're going to use for logging is a log writer. So we're going to go ahead and get out of our container. We're going to resolve this log writer class. And we'll go ahead and store this as our log writer. And then all we're going to do here is we're just going to do log writer dot write and we're going to put out just a message here. So go ahead and put our message to be I am logging. So I'll go ahead and save this and let's run it. And I'll go ahead and open up our directory here where our application is being compiled. And you can see we've got this trace dot log. And we'll go ahead and look at this log file and you can see that this is basically the default logging that you get here. We've got our message that was I am logging. We've got a general category, our priority set to negative one, event ID defaults to one, severity level defaults to information. We don't have a title. And then we have some additional information here like the machine name, the app domain, process ID, process name, no thread name here. We've got a thread ID and we don't have any extended properties. So this is the basic scenario that we're going to use to examine logging and to build on from here.